Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to harvest pumpkin leaves, dry them, and save them to feed to your rabbits in the winter time. So we wanna make sure you've hit the subscribe button and press the bell. That way you get notified of all of our videos. This plant right here is a Cherokee bush pumpkin plant. So this plant, this pumpkin plant is different from other pumpkin plants in that it is more of a bush type of plant. So I'm gonna set the camera down and you can see the base of the pumpkin plant. What you see are some, some little cuttings right here. I've already cut some. And then you see some long tubes like this right here. So we just simply take our, we can set the camera down here. It's not a stable rock. So we take our scissors and we find something like this little, this little one right here. And we clip quite close to the base. And we're just gonna take a few of these. We actually have a walkway that the pumpkin plant was planted quite close to and the pumpkin leaves are growing over the walkway. And so we don't want that. We're just gonna clear up our walkway a little bit by clipping off just some of the leaves that are by the walkway. Maybe a few more over here. Now these plants, this pumpkin plant does have um, spikes, it does have thorns on the actual pumpkin leaves especially the stalk of the leaves. The thorns are a little bit hard to see, but you can see one here, one here. You can kind of see them sticking out. Here's one. Um, there's quite a few up. And the leaves themselves, they feel a little prickly because on this, on this part of the leaf, there's a little bit of thorns too. So this isn't necessarily a plant you want to be harvesting without gloves. This is the pile we have so far. I'm going to choose a location to put them in so that, so that they dry in the sun fast. And if there's a breeze, that's good too. I'm going to cut off quite a few of these branches that are in the way of my walkway in the garden. Some of these are pretty tall. They're quite hollow inside as well. So this is the inside. This looks quite long. And inside, you see that this is hollow. So I literally could stick my finger inside of this pumpkin plant, the pumpkin stalk. So we just dry these out. Now we can see our path this way a little bit better. We would have a few more uh, leaves to cut. For example, these leaves right here. And we would clear up our path quite a bit. And this would help us get food for our rabbits as well. So after we're done picking up the actual leaves, and they are prickly, so gloves are a good idea, we're just gonna walk over and we have a wooden deck. And this is a great spot in the yard that gets quite a bit of sun. So if you see these four leaves, these are four pumpkin leaves that I put out yesterday that I started drying. And when you put these out, I just simply lay them down and I try to lay them with the tops up. There's also some grass drying over here, drying flat. If you cut grass for your rabbits, laying it flat to dry is a fast way to dry it. You can also use the method where you bundle up quite a few pieces of the grass and hang it to dry, which we have a different video on that that we just put out. But I just literally lay the stalks of all these pumpkin leaves, lay them out, lay them flat. 
and this is a very big one. And at some point, about a day, about 24 hours, I flip them over. So we'll take a look at these. This is after 24 hours of drying. This is quite fragile, the leaf. And it had been flipped over, so it started out like this. And then I had to flip it over. The leaf part is dry. This piece right here, the actual stalk of the leaf, it still is quite quite wet, so this is gonna take a bit longer to dry. And so we wanna be a little bit uh, careful with these. As you saw, just a little piece. This is very easy to break off a piece. So you just wanna be kind of gentle while they're, be gentle with them while they're drying. But after they are, after they are quite dry, this is something where you can put in like a potato bag or an onion bag or some other, um, some other bag such as that, like a, a breathable type bag. Let's see. Goodness, like a canvas bag if it has, if it's a, if it's not too thick of a canvas, some natural type fabric is also good as well. But that's all you do. You lay these out, you let them dry, you flip them over, and you have food for your rabbits in the wintertime that you don't have to pay for. And it's a good variety of food that offers good nutrients as long as you're drying it. Oh my goodness, almost dropped the camera. As long as you're drying it properly in the sun, keeping it dry, not letting it get rained on, and as long as you're storing it properly as well. Thanks for watching.